Right. Okay, now, you guys see, you guys get the point, right? Right. Did he go by him? Yeah. He went right by him. Well, is that guy a good shooter? Now, if he's not a good shooter, what are we going to do? Now you can just short those out. But if you're playing against somebody that can shoot in the best out of should sit outside of the box. Quit doing what you've always done. It's okay to change. Uh, throw it, throw it in the ball. So, I want you to uh, run by me. Run by me. As soon as you touch the floor, what are you going to do? I know he gets back there. What is he looking for? Why is he getting back there? The why is, the why is more important than the, than the rule. You got to know why. Why does he get back there? What's one of the things? Why does he need to get back there? Somebody tell me. In case the ball just comes back to the shooter, right? Well, that's what he's looking for. What he's looking for. He's not running, he's not uh, uh, contested shot, really. Contested, hit the ball line. Uh, go with the right hand across. Yeah, was the right, right hand. All right, all right, now, now, as soon as you hear it, now get back in the play. Stop. Don't go any further. Because if he misses, if he misses, it comes back, it's going to be a long rebound, right? Well, don't run to the rim, so the ball's going to be your head. Okay, just stay here. Okay, well, what about if the shot takes and drives? How many shooters are great drivers? How many great drivers are great shooters? Those dudes make a lot of money. I don't see a lot of guys in college that can dribble with their left hand very good, by the way. That's, that's why I uh, talk to uh, when we do our mid pick and roll defense, and we execute our mid pick and rolls, which hand are they driving? Which hand are they passing with? Excuse me, which hand are they dribbling with? The left hand. We make everybody play left hand. We make everybody play with their left hand. Let's say that the ball uh, uh, right here. I know I'm jumping around, but some of this stuff's good stuff. All right. Um, you guys know what chin action is? Everybody knows the chin, right? Of course. You don't run it, right? Margaret. Put it in. Make your team larger. There's so many good, there's so many good um, um, action, there's so much good action in chin, it forces you to be able, to have to be able to do so many different things. The first thing you got to do are what? Be able to jump to the ball and not get back straight, right? You don't think that's not valuable down the road? Um, now you got to now you got to defend a running pick and roll. So let's say that they're when we used to play Central Florida when they had big taco, um, taco. I have to do a better job of teaching. 
I'm not saying that um, uh, for no other reason than it's right. How many guys on Tuesday and Friday night all of a sudden they would start teaching block out? Shut that block out. Really? Really? That's, that's how we're teaching the block out? Y'all got block out? Figure this thing out. Have fun coaching this game. That's, that's uh, uh, when, when I'm finally done, that's what I'll listen to most. Is the teaching aspect. Teach them how to guard a pick and roll. Teach them how to, how to um, uh, guard a pick and roll. Teach them how to guard them for action. So now come game night, we'll see somebody win something that, hey, coach, we guarded that um, back and out. We know how to guard that stuff. So when we're working on our defense, we never guard our stuff. We always guard different actions. 